we're going to learn this sentence today. Get out your note sheet and your expert mastery check. Distance is the length of a segment created by two points, midpoint, the coordinates in the middle of two coordinates. Pause the video now and write the definitions. Okay, you should have written those definitions. Now let's talk about the formula. The formula is distance equals square root of, you can see the square root here, the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared. All of that is in the parentheses. Plus the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. That's the distance formula. The midpoint formula is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. It's an ordered pair, so put a comma. Your next number in your ordered pair will be y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all divided by 2. That's the midpoint formula. Next, you need the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. To remind you, that would be for right triangles where a and b are the sides of a right triangle and c is the longest side of the triangle, the hypotenuse. Pause the video here and finish those examples, writing them down. Okay, I think you should have had enough time to get those done. Let's move on with our expert mastery check. Take that out. Number one, ask you to find the distance between two points using the distance formula. Start with what you know, write the distance formula down, and take a look at the picture. You have a point here at negative 5, 3, and a point here at 1, negative 4. Using the distance formula, you can label your points. Here's x and y, and if you notice, I use this to be my x sub 2, it looks like and my y sub 2 to be this coordinate. Here's an x and a y. First one is the x, the second one is the y. I'm going to call this point 1. So now I put the numbers, substitute in the numbers for x sub 1, y sub 1, y sub 2, y sub 1, do the math. When you are subtracting, remember, you want to keep that number inside the parentheses. Negative 6 squared is positive 36. Add it to 7 squared, which is 49. Your answer is the square root of 85, which is approximately 9.22. You can find that in your calculator. Pause the video, finish that example. Okay, you should be coming back now. Let's do the last part. Number two tells you to verify that distance using the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to show that picture again. If you go back up, you're going to see the distance here. I'm going to write it in the row. This distance here is 7 units, and here is 6 units. That's why we have our sides of our triangle are 6 and 7. We don't know the length of our hypotenuse. 
a squared plus b squared equals c squared is the Pythagorean theorem. I wrote it down. Substitute in 7 and 6 are your lengths of the sides of your triangle. c squared, we're not sure what it is. Solve for c squared, but remember, how do you undo a square? You must take the square root. So we take the square root of 85, and there we verified we also get 9.22. Pause the video, finish that example. Let's do the last one now. Come back, I hope. Number three. It's asking you for the midpoint. The midpoint is a line segment, of a line segment, is this formula. You had written that down earlier, but Notice, I attributed which is my x and my y. So here my negative 5, 3 is my x sub 1, y sub 1. And my 1, negative 4 is my x sub 2 and y sub 2. So when I substitute those values in the midpoint formula, I'm going to get an ordered pair when you're done. That is a coordinate. It is the position of that point on your Cartesian plane. Next, pause the video if you need to and finish that midpoint example and then come back to your note sheet. Welcome back. Back to your note sheet on the illustration diagram. I would just put in there Cartesian plane with the x axis is the horizontal axis, the y is the vertical, then you're going to have the distance between A and B. Notice this is how you write it. When you see two coordinates next to each other, you're going to have A, B, meaning the distance between the two points. M, notice, is the midpoint, the middle of the line. It cuts that segment into two equal parts. 